What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here at the ranch. Today we have a little bit of things to get done and show you around what we have in ideas and just different things we have to get done. But first off, before we do anything, right behind us we have the aquascape pond and there is a duck really upside down. The fish are doing amazing. Everyone is breeding up a storm. And today is actually one of the coldest days here in South Florida. The water is absolutely crystal clear. And while it's being crystal clear, I noticed that because the capybaras have been out, there is something that is inside of this pond. Wow, look at that. The ducks pooped and the fish ate it all. How, how lovely. Beautiful garbage can uh, eaters. So what's inside of here is a beautiful animal. And we're going to go inside and grab it. Okay, we have these nice uh, pants, whatever you want to call them. They just, you know, they dry off really quickly. And we're going to check it out. Wow, water's kind of cold today. All right, so check it out. Let's see if we can find this guy. So inside of here, we found something that's very, very cool looking. And he is very large. I'm going to have to get wet. I don't want to get wet. But we're going to have to get wet because I have to get this guy out of here. And this guy's not supposed to be inside of here. He's supposed to be in the aviary enclosure. So if you guys know what I'm really talking about right now, put it down in the comments. Because this is a really, really cool creature. And I saw him and he dove back down. God, this water's cold today. All right. Woo. Here we go. Let's reach down over here. Oh my God. I can't find it. That's not good. Oh, that's cold. That's really cold. All right, hold on. I don't want to stir up the water. Let's look around a little bit more. Wow. <laughs> Literally the coldest day of the year. Oh, here he is. We got him right here. All right, you guys ready? Guy's gorgeous. Guy's beautiful. It's getting really big. Don't know if it's a male or female. So, wow, it's cold. All right, you ready for this? Come here, little guy. Don't bite me. Uh, wedged up inside of here. Probably lost. Doesn't know how to get out of here. And here we are. We got a beautiful Hillary side neck turtle. Nice female. It's probably the one that likes to be. Um, come up to me all the time and everything beautiful beautiful girl but she's obviously a little lost and we are going to get her and bring her back into the aviary enclosure where she's supposed to be with all her friends and family let me take this shirt off before i freeze to freaking death because i hate the cold i know you guys are probably like are you serious blake there's no snow there's nothing here and all your states are probably freezing and literally the ice already and also let me ask you a question put it down in the comments should i do another merch drop i have a really really dope design that i would like to give you guys but i don't know if i want to drop it for like christmas or maybe just wait till like 2021 what do you guys think put it down in the comments it's gonna be just sweaters well like hoodies it's gonna be really dope if you guys think it's a yes or no let me put her down take this freaking shirt off before i freeze to death and let's go in get hey hey come here girl they're getting big hopefully next season we'll be able to um have eggs off of these guys look how gorgeous these girls they have those little oh my goodness you see that those they have those little sensors right there so they can go around and search on the bottom for little crustaceans, all cool little different things. So let's get this girl and uh, go release her back inside of the pond. Look at that mouth. Strong, strong jaws. These guys actually do really, really well in the cooler climates. They, you don't have to do anything with them. In the cooler climates, as in here in South Florida, which is cold, but it's really not that cold. But um, yeah, let's go release this guy back inside the aviary build. Let's do it. If you guys have been following me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch on Instagram, I say you guys do that right now because I'm always putting stories on there all the time on different little clips that are things are getting done here at the ranch and awesome little updates all the time. So actually in today's story, if you guys are following me on Instagram, you guys saw I was giving you some treats to the animals and treats as in mealworms, a huge, huge cup of mealworms to the guinea fowl, to the chickens, to everybody. They were absolutely loving it. They're actually still picking up a little bit left off the bottom. And the reason why I decided to do that is because this area is a massive area, but because there's so many chickens and stuff, they're going through here and they're eating every single bug that is inside his enclosure. So why not benefit them and throw some more stuff in there for them as well? I think this guy's ready to go. You ready to go back over there, Missy? Come on. So yeah, just let's go over there and check it out. The weather is so cool. It is completely like two o'clock at PM right now. Fluffy's out running around because the weather is so beautiful. She's, well, he's having a great old time and living his best life. Um, yeah, so everybody else is doing good. Tortoises are out, moving around. It's not that cold that they don't like it, but it's enough that they're moving around and they're just really, really enjoying it. So let's just move on this way. We've been collecting a ton, a ton of wood turtle eggs. So we're gonna be having a lot of them on the website available very soon. So make sure you're always updated on the website because as soon as I get posted, 
they get sold. So if you want to get one of those turtles, check it out. Keep on walking. There's Fluffy. Look at Fluffy. Hey, Fluffy. What's going on, buddy? Fluffy boy. Nice and white. No more flood. Well, the flood's still kind of there, but it's getting down. Look, Fluffy's right there. Hey, Fluffy. He gets just chilling right there. All right, let's keep on moving. The turkey poults are doing great. They're getting pretty big. Unfortunately, one did pass away, so we have five, but that is okay. That's the process of raising up animals. Things do die sometimes. And this is the enclosure. I just closed the door up and you guys stay right there because I'm going to walk over there. But really cool thing is in the upcoming videos, you're going to see we have many, many truckloads of dirt coming in. You guys are like, oh, figure one thing, get one thing done, blah, blah, blah. I try to get hookups so I can get things done. And so I don't really have to pay for stuff. So there's a lot of construction workers out here in South Florida and they dig holes. They have dirt. They need to put it places. I get a call. They bring it here. So this whole area is going to be starting to get dirt to start filling up for the aviary build. So unfortunately, we're inside the aviary build. And I know I told you guys November was the time to get it done. But the Aquascape Ecosystem Company, unfortunately, are on backtrack right now because of COVID and everything. And they have to get done all of their first priority ponds first. So unfortunately, the aviary build won't be happening until the first week of January 2021. I was really ready for it to be in November, but it's going to happen in 2021. Eddie gave me the heads up about it, so there's nothing we could do about it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So let me uh, show this guy the pond. The pond's like yay back over there because this is still a lot of water. Capybaras have that area over there. They're walking on that berm. They're just chilling, hanging out. Area looks like a freaking bomb went off over here. Here I go with the beautiful, nice gorgeous mud you guys can zoom in and i'm gonna let this girl go back inside of her enclosure oh look there's another one right there maybe that wasn't the one hold on hold on hold on hold on all right we got it look at that another girl that one's a lot bigger compared to that one that's the one that was, i thought this was the one but it wasn't you are really scratching me up missy you are destroying my arms look at that Wow, look at the bamboo. It's like a freaking panda forest over here. <laughs> All right. You are, okay, okay. Let's let these girls back go and call it a day. Let me, let me, let me. Ow, ow, ow. Put the nail, bro. Get out of here. My goodness. Fill the capybara poop. Beautiful for my feet. Nice pedicures right there. Look at that hand right there. My goodness. I got some sharp little nails made for laying eggs but um i've been cleaning up this whole entire area as well getting all the seed pods put in here because i don't want to fill the dirt on top of this we're gonna clean it all up get it all situated fill it up with dirt so i'm thinking the dirt you see the line on the, the metal sheet that's over there that one middle line we're gonna go above that you see the one behind you as well we're gonna go above that too so pretty much the level of the dirt inside of here is gonna be about yay high so this whole area guaranteed will always be above water for the fact of when this aviary build is put it together, birds, the capybara, everybody can be put over here. Because the day that this thing gets closed in, we're not going to be able to move the capybara out of this enclosure like we are right now. Because of the fact of there's going to be free flying birds in here. And if you have a door open with free flying birds, then there's going to be free flying birds in South Florida that are not supposed to be here. And that's not what we want. So we're going to always have a double door here. And the capybaras are going to have to stay inside their massive enclosure always unless we figure out another option to maybe somehow get the capybaras to walk around the building. We'll figure that out in the future. We have a lot of freaking videos to get done. When you guys see this video, today we have the dirt coming. We have a pallet of stuff from, oh my goodness, you guys. I can see it from a mile away. We have to go save a giant tortoise. It just got, we got flipped over from another male. Let's go get it. Hurry up. I swear to God, I see it flipped over. Flat, bumping that on. I'm like, come on, we gotta go. Like, it can't be upside down for a long time because the lungs are on its back and like, yeah, they can't die. Come on. So you got your eyes have to be opened all the time here in the right Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, you guys. I scared you all. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Look, Missy and her boyfriend are doing good. The cranes are doing good, but we got to move. This turtle is literally upside down. We did two savings today. That's interesting. We have a turtle they have to save and a giant sulcata. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. My sister got a little bit of blood taken out, so she's a little on the slow side right now, but that's all right. Oh my god, they're still fighting. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bro, it's Max. Max flipped over Jerry. I don't know how that happened. Jerry's my biggest tortoise here. Like, this is insane. Come on. Look at this. 
Look how big this guy is. They just had a full on battle right here. Jerry is a massive, massive Sakata tortoise. And Max freaking flipped him over. Yo, Jerry, you just lost that fight. What the heck happened to you, bro? Holy crap. You better run. Max is going to get you again. This weather has everybody freaking out today. They're freaking like, it's not hot. We could fight. I want some girls. They got the girls in the background. Look, Jer how Max is literally like a medium sized tortoise here. And Max beats everybody up here in this group. This area is massive. They have enough areas to get away from each other. They have no issues at all to stay away from each other. And uh, yeah, look at the female in the background. Yo, just go like breed the female. Leave, the, leave Max alone. I mean, leave Jerry alone. Jerry is my African spur thigh that you guys know that I've raised since a hatchling. And he is doing amazing. Hear the drumming? I don't know if you guys can hear that frequency, how low it is. But the emus are happy. Everybody's happy. The water level has completely dropped a lot. It's still very wet and mucky down there, but it's low. But that is great. We redid all the 12 by 16 pieces of wood throughout this whole thing so the tortoises don't get over and they stay on this side of the enclosure. It is time for them to be completely locked up now because of the fact of egg lay season is coming soon. They need to start getting fed very, very heavily so that they can produce a lot of beautiful babies for me and for you guys on the website like I was telling you guys earlier. So yeah, a lot of freaking crazy things happen here all the time here on the ranch. Look at that. I'm not gonna say I'm not I'm not gonna give you guys a, a, a zoom in too much, but if you guys remember Avatar, the freaking crazy, crazy, crazy tortoise we produced here on the ranch. That's the mother right there. Oh my god, there they go fighting again. They have to fight though for territory. They have to fight so they want to breed more, all of that good, great, amazing stuff. But my goodness, Jerry is a massive tortoise, and look at him go. Make sure you guys always have those post notifications on. Like this video. Let's hit 10,000 likes on this video. I know it's 1,000% possible. And uh, he just lost. Hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys all later. Peace out, everyone.